that's where I'm gonna spend like all of today. Right there in my goblin nest. I have a cup holder and I'm sure I will have a variety of cats visiting me today, but this is where I will be. All right, here's my OOTD for just doing nothing today. So I have this shirt that says, let's go ghouls, summerween appropriate. My comfiest leggings and then my slippers got soaked in last night's washing machine repair. So today we have socks that say fa la 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 because we're just seasonal humans over here. And I have one of my cute happy headband co headbands. It's got a bunch of little flowers on it that I thought kind of matched the flowers anyway. Anyway, hi friends. Oh my gosh. So it's like 2 p.m. on day four of Summerween and we are just getting started because I did not get myself out of the bed until noon. If you watched yesterday's Summerween, which is in the Summerween playlist, my washing machine got clogged. Fortunately, I was able to figure out what the problem is and where the problem is, but I did all the work myself at like two in the morning. I pulled the washing machine out. It still had water in the drum and so it was heavier than it normally would have been and I had to like tilt it to keep it from just completely spilling water everywhere and I had to keep it tilted on my own while trying to do all of the work underneath it. And I have thrown my back out or pulled something in my back. I don't know if you can sprain something, but I am like in excruciating pain today. So that is why I showed you the goblin nest. And if you see anything on the floor back there by where the washer is, no, you don't because I'm not dealing with it today. I can't bend over. I can't, I can't unload the dishwasher. It's, I'm hurting really, really badly. So we're just gonna stay here today with the cats. I made a super nutritious lunch of Pop-Tarts. I've got my book. I probably should grab like my iPad or something, but I also have the TV over here and we're just gonna have a comfy day. Um, there's lots of sprints going on today. Normally I do my sprints on Mondays, but I just can't today. I think Kendall is still on with her productivity and writing sprints. Jess at Reading with Jess is doing sprints with a bunch of friends tonight and Liv moved her Patreon sprints to tonight. So I'll have people to read with no matter what. This vlog today is gonna to be much more chill and cozy. Maybe we'll do a face mask or something. I did just take some Aleve. So if that kicks in, I might be able to do some work on my diamond painting, but like sitting kind of hunched over for a long period of time right now seems like the most miserable thing on earth. So I'm gonna eat and then I'll get started with this and I'll give you a reading check-in in a little bit. Hello friends. I've emerged from hibernation and I say that because my cat was laying on the bed and I went to pet her and then fell asleep for an hour. And it's like five o'clock already and I've barely vlogged anything. So let me tell you what I have done today. I read a few chapters laying down on the couch in my little gremlin hole. And then I decided to brave it and try one section of my diamond painting, which I did while I listened. And I think I got maybe 50 pages into Pet Cemetery, and I do like it so far. Nothing super creepy has happened, but there's a lot of talk of death and the conversation on whether death is natural or not, and what death means to a child that doesn't understand death. And I already feel like holding my cats a little bit closer, but yeah, so far I like it and I really, really like Stephen King's writing style more than I was anticipating. So that's all good. I hope I get a lot more read on sprints tonight. I am still hurting a lot, so I'm trying to make some dinner and then just kind of settle back in for the evening. But I haven't really made any real food in a while. So I'm gonna make some pasta tonight and whatever vegetables I have in the fridge, I'm just gonna throw those in with it. So let's cook some dinner together. <music>
cooking over here. And then I've just got the aromatic vegetables cooking over here. So onions and garlic. This is not a conventional named pasta dish by any means. I'm just cooking what I've got in the house. All right, so onion, garlic, zucchini, mushrooms, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. I'm just gonna let that cook down a little bit. Add the sauce, I'm gonna make it creamy, so I'm gonna add some non-fat cream cheese. It's gonna be really good. It might not look like much, but this is one of the best things I've made in a long time. Sometimes simple, what you have in your own fridge is gonna make you a really good dinner, so. Also, I'm not vegetarian, but sometimes I just like vegetarian-centric meals, so that's what this is. I'm excited to go sit back down because this definitely did not feel great to my back, and watch a YouTube video or two and then get back to reading. Let's go. lighting is not great over here so ignore that look at look at little Zelda I took some a leave about an hour ago and so I've moved over here to get a little bit of my diamond painting done because I'm so close to the end and I really want to finish this during summer ween so I can show you all the completed one because it's a witch like I have to finish it during summer ween this evening I listened to a lot of Pet Cemetery. I let me go grab the book actually okay yeah I just made it to page 100 so I still have quite a hefty amount to go but I keep reminding myself like today is Monday and I still have Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday and the only other book I have to finish is like a four hour long audiobook so I'll finish this it's a little under 400 pages but thoughts on it so far are there's this just like general sense of knowing something bad is going to happen and not knowing when it's gonna happen. So you're constantly like, eh, eh. And like, maybe I'm wrong, but like, I feel like I pretty much know the kind of thing that's gonna happen and I don't like that, but maybe I'm wrong. There have been a couple touches with just the topic of death and different people's like comprehension and understanding of it, which is very interesting to read about. But the best thing about this is just how engrossing and simple but beautiful Stephen King's writing is. I don't know if all of his books are like this because like I said, this is my first Stephen King book, but I'm really enjoying it if that's the right word so far. The characters feel very well rounded for only having spent a hundred pages with them and I don't really dislike anybody right now. And again, I don't know if it's gonna stay that way or if I'm supposed to like all of them or whatever, but I am having a good time and I don't feel creeped out yet. So unless something big changes, I feel like I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight, which is good because I have a big activity occurring tomorrow. But I'm gonna keep working on the little diamond painting and I'll show you all my progress in a little bit. time for our end of the day update before I edit and upload this as I've been doing. I know today was not like a super thrilling adventurous vlog but I did not feel my best today. My back is still super tight. I don't know how to explain it other than like the area right like where your rear meets your back um, is just like it feels like all of the muscles just went and I can't stretch it or like move it or sit up straight or anything without it hurting. Laying down honestly feels better than anything else. Cemetery, let me update you on that first. 
I, it looks like I'm about right at halfway. I haven't put it in story graph yet to see exactly what percentage I'm through this book, but I am so surprised with how much I'm liking it. It is unsettling and I am starting to get to some more unsettling aspects of the book. Um, the thing that I thought was gonna happen did happen, but then like there's so much more than just that. Definitely makes you look at death and the price and cost of life and all that kind of stuff in a much different, much more clear way. And I don't even think I've said what this book is about because I just kind of assumed a lot of people have already read it. So this book is about a family, Lewis, Rachel, Ellie, and Gage, who move to a new house so that Lewis can go be like a doctor for the local university. And they also have a pet cat named Winston Churchill, who their daughter Ellie really, really, really loves. And they find out that there's this area on their property that like local kids have kind of adopted and started burying their pets there and the local kids all keep it up and it's called the Pet Cemetery. And this place really upsets Ellie because she doesn't ever want her sweet precious cat to die. And I won't go into anything, but you, you might be able to make some assumptions about what happens and then we get into some scary territory after that assumption that you might be having happens and we're kind of in that moment right now. But every character in this story has a different relationship with death, which is so interesting and different feelings about it and different traumas that they're dealing with because of death. And it, it's more than what I expected it to be. So I'm appreciating that. It makes me wanna read more Stephen King, but I know some of his stuff I will never pick up. You couldn't pay me money to read it because I am terrified of clowns and have been my whole life. That's a story for another day, but it involves going to Pizza Hut when I was like four. I cannot stand clowns. And the other news I need to share with you guys is I was supposed to have a tattoo appointment tomorrow. I sent my deposit in and everything and I'm still gonna have it, but it got moved to Wednesday morning. So tomorrow's vlog was going to be my tattoo appointment, but it's just gonna get moved to Wednesday. And that means I can go to the pool tomorrow. So it's not a terrible tragedy, but I was looking forward to my appointment. That's okay. I'm gonna go on Wednesday. With that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you good night. For today's emoji, why don't we do a zombie? So if you watched all the way to the end, leave me a zombie, and I will see you in day five of Summerween. Bye, guys.